Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. This is a bruise. It's not a real bruise, but it does lead us to today's video. Now this is the scenario I thought of when I was thinking about what to do for today's video. It's Halloween time and you have been busy all week and you forgot that you have a Halloween party tonight. You have two hours until you're supposed to be there and you have zero costume. None whatsoever. You don't have time to go get one, so what do you do? So as I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail, we are doing a plastic surgery look. You can vary any of these components any way that works for you. What I am starting with and what I started was the bruising. And this is because I want it to make look, make, make look, make it look like maybe what would be a result of a nose job. I haven't had any plastic surgery, so I'm just kind of going off of things I've seen on Pinterest and just my own ideas. And for the bloody nose, I did get some of this gauze from Amazon and it has it's red dyed a little bit, but you do not have to have that if you have just any kind of gauze laying around your house. You know, first aid stuff, you can use this. You can use some red lipstick on it to make it look a little bloody. If you don't really want to do the bruising and maybe have white gauze and want to make it look like you're at the end of the healing process, you can just use plain white. Or if you don't have gauze, you can just use a band-aid. I'm gonna use the band-aid over my gauze to hold the gauze in place. The other thing that you will need for this idea is a black eyeliner, either a pencil or a liquid liner. Either one will work and we're going to use this to draw the lines like doctors do when they're getting ready to do surgery. Then the last thing I'm going to do, I am going to take a darker lipstick. I am going to completely overdraw my lips and make them look big, way bigger than they are. If you do happen to have just a little bit of Halloween stuff, I have some of the, this is the Mayron Fake Blood. Mayron is a great brand for Halloween stuff. What I am going to use to get the fake bruising on my face are just a few eyeshadow colors. I have talked about this palette numerous times on my channel. This is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This is a super colorful palette and what we're gonna use are, you need a couple orangish colors here. You need some of the yellow, some green, some purple, and a black. If you don't have those colors, can't come up with them anywhere, don't have anything that you could use for them, you could always just skip the bruising. It's not a big deal. Let's say you have all the colors, but like a reddish orange, check your blushes. That's a great place to find some. If you have time and want to practice, you can use the colors and go through the process and you can just use like the inside of your arm. Use the shadows and the brushes on your arm and just practice there. And you can always leave it. It's Halloween. Who doesn't bruise? Well, a lot of people don't bruise for Halloween. Just don't mind me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. The first thing you want to do, and I started here without stopping myself first, is I am going to take this color here, these two colors next to each other, right here, as the first step. And you want to use a reddish orange color. I tap off the excess, and then I'm going to go just underneath the eye. And I'm just going to follow a little bit the shape of the eye. And I'm going right on the top of the cheekbone here. And it doesn't have to be precise. And the bruise does not have to be perfectly even. I'm using a smaller brush so that I can keep this bruise smaller. This is kind of like the busted blood vessel part of it. Next, I am going to hit these purples right here. And I am using a flatter, fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna tap into those, tap off the excess and just kind of dab that around the red and just blend it in. It's really not as intimidating as maybe other things makeup wise because it's a bruise and it's Halloween and you can make it look any way you want so you really cannot mess it up. I'm going back in with the reddish color. Now we are just going to blend that all in together. After you hit the purple in there you're gonna want to go in to your yellows and greens. I may take some green first and then you're gonna start just blending that in with the other colors. The green and the yellow are going to be what makes your bruise look aged. And the darker and the redder your bruise, the fresher the bruise will look. 
the more greenish yellow will be the older the bruise that it's been healing more. So if you are maybe using the plain white gauze on your nose, you could just make your bruise real light. Then I just go back in with the other colors until I get the look that I want. I'm gonna just keep working her in. Just like everything else with makeup, the key is blending. And you just can play around with it until you get the look that you like or you want. Now the last part, we're gonna take some black. I'm taking it on a flat brush, getting rid of the excess, and I'm just gonna dab it kind of around. I'm using the fluffy brush that had the yellow and green on it, and I am just blending that in. I'm gonna use some yellow green to blend better. If you by chance do not have a black shadow, use like a tiny bit of pencil liner and just blend that out. We are sufficiently bruised over here. Now I'm going to just take my ring finger and I'm just going to blend it all together. And now I'm going to take some loose setting powder. This is just a CoverGirl powder and I am going to set that. All right, there we have it. What we're going to do now, liner. My thought here is I am going to figure out the places that if I was going to get lifted and nipped and tucked, where would I want those lines to be? I would want to move this back so I'd have a line here. I'd want this part lifted up, that part, that part. I'd want, again, the same thing on these sides. I would want this lifted so I don't have smile lines. I would want this pulled back. And so those are the areas where I'm going to draw the lines as to where I think I would want to get nipped and tucked. So that's how I'm going to go about figuring out where to do things. I do want my chin to be more narrow, so if we were going to shave off part of my chin, I would do something like that. I don't want to get too busy with it because we're going to overline the lips. And it's not taking that long either. Actually, I think I want to go ahead and play with the gauze first. I have some scissors here and I am just going to cut a piece of this. I want to use part that is a little bit more red. And then I'm going to fold it and see how, oh my goodness, that is long. And you can make yourself, elephant, that's not how an elephant sounds. I'm good. Oh, I think we've got it. Now I'm gonna use a Band-Aid over that. Okay, regular Band-Aid. So we have the Band-Aid out, ready to go. We have our gauze ready to go. And now we can, oh, let's see if I can do that. Meh. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. All right, we have a nose job gauze. I kind of do want to play with the fake blood though, a little bit. Look at this. Oh, I shake too bad to mess around. Okay. Enough of that. You can always do that with red lipstick too. Now it is time to overline our lips. This is my favorite liner of all time. This is MAC Lip Pencil and Strip Down. I would suggest for this part using a dry down liquid lip just because of the fact that it should um, it should stay in place a little better than um, like a regular lipstick. And if you're not feeling super confident going outside of your regular lip line, grab a lip pencil, lip pencil, a lip brush. This is Jeffree Star Cosmetics and this is in the color Unicorn Blood. I thought that would be fitting. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use my lip brush for more of this. Okay, let's see how coordinated I can be. We are all overlined and voila, we are done. Let's zoom you in so you can see all this nitty gritty up close. There's the overlined lips, the bloodied nose, the bruises, the lines. And there we have it. It didn't take very long at all. It took me a lot longer because I was explaining it and talking to y'all as we went along. I'm kind of like loving this. This is the final look. It was all pretty much stuff that I had. You can wear any outfit you want with it. So I hope that this helps you guys and kind of gives you an idea of what you could do if you need that last minute costume and just want to use what you have on hand. I hope that everyone who celebrates and likes Halloween has a happy and safe Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really had a ton of fun doing this. It was really fun and I appreciate you guys so much and I thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoy watching these as much as I enjoy making them. I just want to thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time I'll see you then. Bye.